I had got to the point where I would do it weekly, then daily, then it was probably about every hour. At that point, um, I no longer wanted to live. I had bought an ounce. I had did it all. I could not get high. And I was still feeling this pain of my mom being gone, my fiance being gone, my stepson being gone. And at that point, God had told me, you're mourning your mother and she's gone, but your kids are mourning you and you're here. And that's when I decided I needed to change my life. I surrendered and I gave my life to Jesus. It was God who changed my life. After I surrendered and gave my life to him, he brought my kids back into my life. My life had completely changed. At one point, I just started feeling really weak and tired and started bruising a lot. And I was a little concerned, so I decided to go ahead and make a doctor's appointment and um, waited for a bit. And my doctor had told me that I needed to go see the cancer specialist. That So I go to the cancer specialist and then they tell me that I was diagnosed with um, kappa light chain disease, which is a type of leukemia, um, myeloma. And this is when I got diagnosed. I couldn't work. Um, my kids are gonna be without me. The symptoms got very bad to the point where I couldn't even get out of bed. I was told I have up to four years to live if it wasn't bad, which the doctor thought it was worse. So we did bone marrow to find out how far along it was because it was to the point where I couldn't even get out of bed. So when I had um, found out about how long I might have, so God kept always intervening. Like it didn't matter where I was or what I did. He always intervened somehow, always, just like he did when I was on drugs. But at one time I was hiking and I was, I was very mad at God at this time. And I was, I was hiking and not knowing where I went. And then I started noticing the pathway. And that's when God had said the same way that you were lost on your, on the road and you found your way back. That's the same way you're going to find your way back to me. I was going to church, but everywhere I went, there was somebody inviting us to go to Hungry Jet. So we decided to go ahead and go. So I think it was the day we were doing communion. And um, pastor had said, is anybody wanting healing? And I was like, this is my time. I had put my hands up and he said, I want people in the sanctuary to start putting hands on people that lifted their hands. And uh, at that time too, I was in pain. My bones hurt all the time. Uh, my calcium was very low. My potassium was low, everything. They put their hands on me. They prayed over me. And pastor had said, did anybody receive some type of healing? And I had not hurt anymore. My body wasn't hurting. I wasn't feeling pain in my bones the way I was. It would hurt to walk. Um, he asked if I would go up. I went up. We have Jessica here from Kennewick and she was recently diagnosed with leukemia and during the prayer she felt a heat come over her and all of her pain is gone. Really? What's happening to you? Um, it's what? called la Kappa light chain disease. Okay. So it's, they give you six year. Six years? Yeah. And when, when were you diagnosed? Um, six months ago. Six months ago? Yeah. And so and during prayer what, what did you feel? Um, my bones have been really bad lately because uh -huh. that's what it deteriorates and I just felt heat all the way through and I felt no pain right now whatsoever. You're gonna have to go to your doctor though. I have he another appointment in a week with him. In a week? Yeah. We're gonna believe for a clean doctor's report. Come on church, stretch your hands right now. Father, we thank you for your healing touch from the top of her head to the soles of her feet. I ask you right now, Holy Spirit, that your fire will burn whatever is not of the Lord. Receive your healing right now. Receive the touch of Jesus right now. Be made whole in Jesus' name. Lord, may she live to testify of your goodness and of your mercy for the rest of the days. May her family 
May other people that would know her be encouraged in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you, sister. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. God bless you. Thank you for being here today. And he told me what I was battling and I told him what I was battling. So two weeks go on and I'm still waiting for results how bad my leukemia is, how bad it's going to be, how long I got. and But I chose to continue to believe. And so I continued to worship and pray whenever I could. Whenever the enemy was trying to come in, any single time I would throw on worship music or get in my word. Um, then I got a phone call. And it was my doctor. And he's like, I need you to come in. And I said, okay. My heart had stopped when I got that phone call and for the fact that he told me to come in, I knew it was bad news. Um, he comes in with the paperwork, sits down, gets on his computer, um, and he says, well, all your blood work is fine. Your bone marrow came back negative. You know, and I said, God's the one who did this to me. Because he told me, he, sh he came to me and told me to trust him. And if I trust him, he would do it. And he did. And now I'm cancer free. I've never known the peace that I have right now. The love that I feel, even when worry comes, it doesn't worry me no more. And that, I try to teach my kids the same thing before they get older and they don't need to to wait till they're my age to understand that. That the only the only way that they're gonna find what they're missing is if they go to Jesus Christ. My word of advice to anybody watching this or that's going through the same struggles or any struggle at all, and even if you're mad at God, He's still there. Did even when I was mad at Him, He's the one who cured me. He's the one who still loved me, even when I was upset and mad with him. He's the one who was there for me no matter what. So now I owe my life to him. But I'm telling you that he's listening. You don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Just don't listen to what the enemy is trying to feed you. My name is Jessica, and this is my testimony.